everybody. My name is Melissa Bender and I have a great workout in the planner for you today. For today's workout, we are going to be using dumbbells. So grab a couple of dumbbells. We're going to be doing um, primarily some lower body and some core work with the dumbbells, but you will be working your arms too. So pick a weight that is challenging, but that you'll be able to do full reps with, okay? I have some 15 pound dumbbells and a 12 pound dumbbell in case I get tired, because you want to be able to do all of your reps with good form. So heavy weight is good for building strength, but you want to be able to do the reps correctly as well. Okay guys, let's get started. I have my interval timer set for 10 rounds of 10 and 50, so 10 seconds rest between exercises, 50 seconds maximum repetitions, get in as much as you can. Um, have some water handy if you'd like, and you can repeat this workout. So you can do one round, you can pair it with another workout, or you can repeat this about three times to get in a really nice full body workout. Okay guys, let's get started. I'm gonna get my dumbbells ready. We're going to be doing a weighted burpee to start. So I hope you are warmed up. If not, pause the video, get your body warmed up, do some jumping jacks, some jump rope, anything that has you feeling warm and gets your heart rate elevated. Okay, so we have 10 seconds of prep time. Oops. So 10 seconds from here, what we're gonna do is put our hands on both dumbbells or on the inside. If you're closer, you can jump back, push up. You're gonna step forward. Here we go. Butt drops, squeeze, lower, repeat. Breathe through it. Focus on having good form. Keep going. If you need to take the push out, push up out, you can. But get in as many with the push-up as you can. Good job. Next, we're going to have an isometric dumbbell row. So instead of keeping our hands down, we're going to keep them up. Here we go. Little bend. Weight comes up. We're going to lower. Lift. Other side. Same thing. So I'll come kind of at an angle. So you guys can see that a little more clearly. So we're getting in that moving exercise, but that little squeeze where your arms stay still, really nice isometric hold there. So we're training strength and muscular endurance. Breathe. Neck is neutral. Less than 10 seconds. Keep going. Good job. Next, we're gonna have a pendulum. You can do this with two weights at your shoulders. I'm gonna use one. All one side. So this leg that's moving, we're gonna to toe touch it down, close leg squat, lift it up to the side. So we're not putting our full weight in, like right now, unless you need to. Um, we're just tapping it down for balance and then making that standing leg do most of the work. Single leg exercises are amazing for you um, because they help target imbalances in the body. Everyone has a dominant side for your legs, just like you do for your hands. And sometimes when you do those double leg exercises, the stronger leg takes over and does more of the work. So when you do these single sided exercises, that doesn't happen. Good job. Same thing, other side will be next. Shake it out if you need to. <laughs> Here we go. So single leg and lift, knees facing forward. Find that balance. 
You're doing so good. Excellent. Good job, guys. Keep going. Don't, um, you don't have to overlift your leg. Just go to what feels good for your body. Everyone's level of flexibility is different. And these dynamic movements, they will improve your mobility with time and practice. Okay, guys, next we're gonna have a rotating chair. So we're gonna hold our dumbbells the same way. Close leg, turning out, letting your body come to center. Keep it low if you can, other side. So this one, this is gonna be the burner. And then we're gonna transition to core work. We'll give those legs a little break. Try and keep it low. Breathe. Keep going. You're almost there. You've got this. Butt stays reaching back just like in a traditional squat. Last few seconds. Good job. Now we're on to core. So we're going to do plank to down dog drag. I'm actually going to move my mat out of the way for this one. So we're going to plank, weight in the center. We're going to drag the weight toward one foot, center, other side. I'm picking my weight up just because it's leaving rubber marks on the floor that I don't want to clean up later. <laughs> Here we go. Keep going. Breathe. You can actually just slide this along the floor instead of picking it up. Ten seconds left. Good job. Next, we're going to have side plank hip tap. So dumbbell is optional for this one. Side plank and oblique exercises are really hard for most people. You could be on extended arm or your forearm. Um, so you're going to tap and lift. So again, you can do this same motion without the weight. If you have carpal tunnel, come onto the forearm. Same thing. Or if you just have tired wrists. <laughs> I like the extended arm because I like the bigger range of motion. But both ways are effective. Keep going, guys. You can do this. So you know we have one side, we'll do the other side next. Last few seconds. Good job, guys. Switch to the other side. Here we go. So again, body weight is fine. As long as you find it challenging, you're doing it right. You're in the right range. If it feels easy, time to amp it up, add some speed, or add some resistance. You'll go faster if you don't set your weight down, you just tap that hip and lift. Good job. Keep moving, you can do this. Excellent so far. Okay, next we have temple tap abs. Again, weight is optional. Hardest variation, feet float. You're gonna tap center, tap center. Easier, feet can stay down or go straight up. And if you wanna make it crazy, add that dumbbell. Belly stays pulling in. Keep 
Keep going. We're getting there, just keep moving. I'm gonna set my weight down. Less than 10 seconds. Good job, guys. And finally, Superman. So you have two options. Well, technically three options. You can do this work, this exercise body weight, arms and legs lifting, making space between your thighs and chest in the ground. You can hold the dumbbell at your shoulders or stick between your feet. Hold, hold it up there to add a little more to the workout. And I just like to try and hold it up. Really activate the backs of the thighs and the glutes. Breathe through it. We're getting there. Keep moving. Less than 10 seconds. This is your last exercise of this round. Good job, guys. Oops. <laughs> Okay, excellent work, everybody. I'm gonna sit down and get comfy. Um, as always, you can repeat this workout. If you are ready for a longer, more intense workout, do it again. Do it three times if you're feeling up to it, or you can stack it with one of my other workouts. We have a thousand to choose from. Um, so check it out. Full length workout breakdown photo tutorial and all my other workouts are free at Bender Fitness. Dot com. And if you're able to make a donation to help keep us sustainable and free, go to patreon.com slash benderfitness. Okay, guys, I hope you are liking the new workouts. Tell me what your favorite move was from today's workout so I can make sure to include it in uh, future workouts. And also, let me know what type of workout you want to see next. We have lots of new things coming for you this month. Bye, guys.